Hi, I'm Catherine Goshen, a professional astrologer from the village of Nyack in New York State, and I'm passionate about in-depth astrology and getting to the heart of the matter. In this video, I'm going to talk about Scorpio and Scorpio rising for 2022, how best to work with the energies that lie ahead. As always with my videos, I suggest that you watch your rising sign first, followed by your sun sign, because it is the rising sign that gives the timing to our charts. Also, when I do give dates such as new and full moons, take a day or two on either side. So let's see what's in store, Scorpio. Scorpio sun and rising, I understand your sign very well because I have the moon in Scorpio. So I can relate to that need to explore the depths and to reach the heights of what life has to offer. Mars finds both its nocturnal and feminine expression in this part of the zodiac and that is part of what bestows the resilience and endurance to the sign of Scorpio. The most noteworthy period for you Scorpio this year appears to be the long journey that Mars is going to take through your solar eighth house. And this is going to be from around August the 20th of 2022, all the way through to March of 2023. Now, the eighth house has to do with therapy. It has to do with going deep, with psychiatry, with psychology, death and transformation. All these very deep, things that your sign feels very at home with. So this would possibly be a wonderful time starting around September of 2022 to go back to school, to do a master's, to do a PhD, to study some alternative healing, or simply to go very deep into research, something that draws you. All of November and December of 22 will see your ruling planet retrograde in this 8th house. So this will give you a chance to rethink, to reponder, to rework stuff and to go once again really deeply into something. Of course this is therefore not the year to avoid paying tax, to get into debt, or to be too dependent on your partner for financial stability or possibly to get married without a prenuptial agreement. It's a great year to become more financially independent and stable so that when this period comes around from August to March, your financial house is in order and you have tried to get rid of some of the debt that you may have accumulated throughout 2020 and 2021. All four of the lunar and solar eclipses this year will take place in the areas of your chart to do with self-development and relationships. Remember that as you are going through this deep process of change and transformation, so is your partner. Are you able to grow together and to expand your relationship into something new? Or is it perhaps time to allow each other more freedom and a chance to grow in different directions? If you're single and you're looking for romance, the most opportune time from the cosmos appears to be February to May of 2022 with a highlight around the middle of April. And there'll also be another opportunity for this near the end of the year. Not only is romance favored during those windows, but also children, pregnancy, childbirth, and creative projects or something that is really coming out of the depths of your being that you wish to express. And these are favorable months for putting it out there, for really tuning into those creative juices. For those of you that are born 11 to 18 November, give or take a day or two on either side, you're going to have that square from Saturn to your sun, which is a wonderful time for letting your ambitions kick in 
and for forging ahead you might have to overcome obstacles in order to succeed but these are the times of our life when growth is truly possible as long as we don't give up and we push through and you're very very good at doing that Scorpio this would affect those of you with a Scorpio ascendant between 18 and 25 degrees so if you fall into one of those two categories prepare to expand this year prepare to grow and prepare to push through any obstacles that may come into your path now let's look a little closer from January to December and see what's taking place and where you can focus your energies month by month. Scorpio and Scorpio rising, the year gets off to a good start with a lot of energy in your house of self-worth and resources. So hopefully you're feeling good and you're prepared to start the year on a very vibrant note little bit of caution against overspending and it looks as if in general you're very mindful about keeping your eyes on the budget this year. There may be some challenges with communication in the early part of the year with those you love, maybe in the workplace, possibly with siblings. So January seems like a month to say less and to work behind the scenes and set up all those meetings and things you need to do for February. February is a great time for you. Things start to move forward. Communication is cleared. Things seem to flow better between you and your siblings. And this really is a time if you need to make a lot of short trips or simply set up meetings on Zoom, whatever it is you do, get going with that in the second month of the year. The week of March 6 is a real energizing time in the home. Looks like there's a lot of positive energy coming in there and also energy to facilitate new beginnings and closure on things that may have been bothering you all the way since 2021. So make a note of that week around March the 6th and plan accordingly. If you need to start something new, if you need to have something finish up that's been hanging over you, this is your week. And especially in terms of home and home life, this sector of your chart will be energized all the way until mid-April. So possibly you may also have visitors into your home or you may be planning some kind of renovation or home project. Don't be concerned if there's a stop-go energy around the week of April 5th. This sometimes happens where we're moving forward with a project and then all of a sudden it feels like something comes in to inhibit that movement or to block us or to put a break on our forward momentum. So be patient. It's a quick moving energy and it's going to free up pretty soon. Then around April 15th until May 24th, you'll have an emphasis on that area of creativity, children and romance. So whatever category you fall into, make the most of it. Utilize this positive energy coming in, extremely creative. From late May until all the way through the end of October, you will have large planet Jupiter entering your house of health and wellness. So make efforts to exercise, to increase your exercise activity. I've often found when this is the case, some people take up weightlifting or do something of that nature. But whatever the case, this is a great time to get your exercise routine in order and also to make some modifications to your daily routine. If you're spending too long doing something and you're getting too intense about other things or possibly you even over exercising as you're prone to do Scorpio, this is a good time to try to find a bit of moderation because Jupiter tends to expand everything it touches and you don't want to be in a situation where you are in fact overdoing things so that you end up with an injury. So from June, July, August, September, October, 
keep it simple energize that exercise routine but just keep everything in balance there will be a full moon lunar eclipse on may the 16th in your sign that's going to be at 25 degrees of scorpio so always a good time around these eclipses to lay low the week before there's a strong buildup of energy it's like a super full moon so we don't want to be overextended and rushing about it's a good time to be quiet to meditate if you have a meditation practice and to use the energies that are available for very focused and directed achievement and i know you're good at that scorpio you have that ability to laser in on what's important and being aware of these full moons and these eclipses before they happen can be useful because you can set your calendar so that you're building up towards something and this will hopefully come to fruition the week after that full moon. June sees you working on your stuff and then around the week of July 5th is a wonderful time to put yourself out there whether it's for partnership or for business because your ruling planet comes into a visible position in your solar chart so you want to be available at that time you don't want to be hiding behind closed doors you want to be putting energy into your relationship if you have one if you wish for a relationship it may be a good time to seek relationship put yourself out there and it's generally a good time to step out step up and be your best self august the first is a day for potential breakthroughs though travel is not really favored on this day and then September sees pretty much the same remember what we spoke about at the beginning of the video Mars moving into that part of your chart in late August that energizes deep study therapy psychology getting your financial house in order so all these themes you need to apply from late August onwards your ruling planet is going to be direct for all of October so that's another high powered month for you at work and you can plan accordingly if you're looking for a job get out there go for it and then November and December it's a retrograde time so this is not the time really to push forward it's the time to go back and finish off things from the earlier part of the year that you had to neglect because the pace was moving so fast the sun will move into your sign on october the 23rd so happy birthday scorpio and you'll have had venus enter your sign just a few hours before which is always wonderful around the time of the birthday because venus can bring small blessings and then your special new moon will be around october 25th that will be a new moon and a solar eclipse at one degree of Scorpio if you have your particular individual natal chart that's time to the exact moment of your birth check out which house one degree of Scorpio falls in and you'll be dealing with themes to do with that house and the house opposite it for most of the year after a quiet November and December your ruling planet Mars will eventually move forward around January the 12th of 2023 so if you're someone that likes to plan that far ahead it's a great time for you to start your new year around January 13th it's when it's all systems go so perhaps you can already start to plan a holiday for the first two weeks of January whatever the case I wish you a wonderful 2022 Scorpio please post your comments below I read every single one of them I love them like and subscribe if you found anything useful in this video and I also invite you to apply for my course to study astrology deeply it begins in September of 2022 and there's a link below to fill out an application form wishing you well and I'll see you next time